YouTubers are so popular that most teenagers would be more willing to take advice from one than from a parent, or even a very cool teacher. In this series, I, Liam Williams, a 50-year-old grumpy technophobe in the body of a 28-year-old grumpy technophobe, will be meeting them. <laughs> Each week, I'll be taking a different challenge as I try to become more like them and hopefully win a £10,000 prize. I arrived at the YouTuber's management agency to hear about my third challenge from the boss, James Worm. You ready? Mm-hmm. Hit it. Should have rehearsed. This week's episode is music. Justin Bieber, Kylie Rae Jepsen, Lana Del Rey. What do those three people have in common? Oh, they should all be thrown in a ditch for a, with a fire. I don't know. I was just trying to say something cynical. No, all three of them shot to fame because. I don't they... even mind uh, Lana Del Rey. I, I feel bad slagging her off. I got her album. It's good. All she three of them, deserve... Liam, brother. All three of them found fame when their music videos went viral on YouTube. And Bieber, actually, he said some good stuff about the NHS. Liam! Was. Your challenge, my boy, is to create a viral music video. What does viral mean? Ah, it has to give people flu. I think we can welcome him back into my good books. Wormed his way in. Wormed his way in, I don't mind. Another one for him. Ooh. No, what it means is, it has to be unspeakably popular. I went to visit Millipede, fresh from her recent performance in a video for pop band The Tiny Girls. Who are the Tiny Girls? What? No. I don't know what you're talking you about. You did not ask me that. Yes, I did. Hey, we're the Tiny Girls! The Tiny Girls, it turns out, were dreamt up in 2016 during one of Simon Cowell's less imaginative afternoon wanks. But even the most successful new pop groups have fewer fans than YouTubers, so they organised a guest appearance from Millipede to get them extra publicity. Such a cool song, right? Not for me. Not very original in my book, just saying, whoa, whoa, no. whoa. No, it's not, whoa. it's not whoa, whoa. it's whoa. It's different, what's, so what, what's this different? It's spelled differently. Oh yeah? Whoa, that's like W-O-H. Whoa, obviously that's W-O dash O dash. It has been dubbed the Millennial Whoop, a melodic alteration between the fifth and third notes of a major scale a.k.a. the sound of all true hope dying. Whoa is mm. like, okay, yeah, great. Mm. Whoa, that's like, okay, yeah, so good. I don't know. Not really my thing, modern pop music. I'm not very clued up yeah. on the nuances, I have to say. Okay, so what kind of stuff do you like? <laughs> uh, wow. Um, kind of in the neighbourhood of... Bob Dylan meets, you know, late Bob Dylan. I can just, um, have you got Spotify? Yes, yes. It's because it's hard to distill my tastes into simple language. I'll just play it. You like that? Do you feel that? Yeah, I feel it in like a bad way. That's nice to feel bad sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> I really hate bad stuff. Do you like it? I think this is good. This one is an absolute favourite. Sorry, let me. Do you mind me no. taking this? Okay. I love to listen to this and just just wipes me out for about three hours. Just before our love got lost, you said 
What is this? This is Joni Mitchell. A case of you. you like this one? Yeah. She had a mouth like yours. She knew you like you. Yeah, it's almost like. I don't know, like. What she's saying, or. The meaning of what she's saying has sort of always been within me, or something. Glad you like it. No, I don't know, it's just a cool song. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I know. Sorry. Okay. Um, What's that? Yeah. Also, um, later, can I please talk to you about the thing? Who was that? James saw that we're listening to stuff on Spotify that's not on my approved playlist. So. James were monitors your Spotify. No, it's not like James is like sitting there all day monitoring yeah. to make sure you know I'm not like being off brand or. <laughs> He's got an algorithm that does it for him, so it's cool. I left Millie to her sadness and went to meet Charlie, who had something very exciting in store for me. Come on, we're going to be late. For what? We're going to meet Bumsy. We're going to meet Bumsy? Yeah, we're doing like a promo for some headphone cleaning wipes. I love Bumsy. I just think grime is the most exciting and radical expression of the disenfranchisement of a whole generation. Fuck! I just smashed it. Fuck! I just changed the game. Fuck! Got snakes on my door, trying to steal my lot. Fuck you, dickhead, calling me lucky. Driving a smart car should be a buggy. Fuck! I've got too much money. Fuck! I've got too much cash. Fuck! I'm like Frank Lampard. Too many cats. That's the failure of the state. That's the failure of the system, you know? And that's why the riots happened when they did. Um, and that's why this yeah. music has begun to yeah. express yeah. a kind of anger and a new kind of Charlie found Sarah. confidence. Going? What's going on, you guys? Yeah, yeah good. Uh, this is Liam. He's doing a, a documentary about me. Well, about you know, TV and stuff. Uh, great to meet you, Bumsy. Um, I just want to. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. I'm a big fan of your album and, and grime uh, music in general. I think he's in a very exciting place. What's going on? It's your boy Bumsy, yeah? It's a treasure to be here, fam. Hey, <laughs> wipe your modems clean, fam. You got tissue, yeah? Wipe up your modems, because this one's going to scar your fucking head. Cypriot-born rapper Bumsy, real name Bangboss Alp Tekin, is the new poster boy of grime. He's had number one singles in the US and Britain, and he started out by posting DIY music videos to YouTube. He really is. Shut up, bruv. Sound like a, like a boring old man, innit? <laughs> <laughs> you got an ace up your sleeve. Bruv, I've got a whole pack and the instruction card so I know the rules of the game, that's... Should we say they're very clean? Just go, they're yeah. very clean. Yeah, yeah. Selling a product, innit? They're very, say it with me. They're very, very clean. clean now. Try now. They're very clean now. It's almost as if selling brands and promoting products is all part of the artistry, it's all part of the hustle. All right, all you men not subscribing to my channel, fucking wake up in it. There's some exciting stuff happening there. A bit of vlogs and that, and food reviews and things. Like, fuck you in it, but s subscribe though. Do you have any sparkling water in the yard? Any sparkling water? Bomzy wasn't completely the radical anti-establishment artist I'd assumed, so it was reassuring to see him right, spit yeah. some sick political freestyle one, one, on a one, live one, one, stream. One. All right. Love to Teresa, love to the feds. Man, start a revolution from man's bed. No to the circus, no to the bread. Get on that French thing. Off with their heads! <laughs> Getting in the way. That was sick. My new friendship with Bomzy would have to be put on hold. I was summoned away by an angry phone call from James Worm, who said there'd been an emergency with Millipede. I feared the worst, and I was right. I have gotten sick of all these artists that are creating the same manufactured sugary shit. And if we listen to this all the time, it limits creative thought. I'm talking about the tiny girls. Here are some of the artists that I actually recommend and that you should listen to. Okay, one, Joni Mitchell. Clearly I was beginning to have an influence on Millipede.
I returned to Beam to freestyle my music challenge in their recording studio. I'd been in touch with my new friend Bomzy to get his advice on my grime vid, but he never answered my emails, so I had to make do with another coach. What's up, man? You all right? What are you doing? You all right? What are you talking about? What are you laughing at? What's this? What's what? Have you just bought that? No. You've got the labels on the cap. Is it? What? Well, that, uh, that's how they wear them. That's how we wear them. Are you trying to dress like Bumsy? <laughs> no. I'm just trying to be comfortable. OK. Let's go. Yo. Yeah. All right. Yeah, bloggy McVlog face in an odd place. <laughs> Emotionally, grime and reason. Grime and punishment. Cry, grime and lemon and grime. White man can't rap, no. White man's just crap. Whoa. White boy can't flow. Sorry, that's too fast. Can you go? Sorry, mate. Can you? That's too. F that's far too fast. I'm dizzy. Are you okay? Can you hear me? Is that? That's slower. That still feels fast. Like Usain Bolt producing that one. All right, bring the beat back. Bring the beat back. Yeah. Logs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm lower middle class, but my floor's made of glass and I'll smash that just like your last. Not really, that's a joke. Yeah. I might have haters like James Worm, but I've got a thick skin thanks to simpler derm. You boy, you gotta learn. What? Stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What do you mean? What, what are you? This what's what this? I'm doing for my ch music video challenge? You're you don't mad. know because you're not an artist, Charlie. Just, you haven't heard it all yet. It's like the, this is like the, this is the problem. People don't give experimentation a chance. I mean, you can't do this. This is terrible. You philistines. You're gonna have to do something else. As I left the office, I encountered the last person I wanted to see. Whoa, 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 Sorry, whoa, got whoa, 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 whoa! Oi, come here. Where do you think you're going? What have you said to Millipede? I haven't said anything to her. I just played her some music. Right, well that sent her to the sad and mad land. So what? Sad and mad lad. Sad and mad lad. Mad, mad land. Sad and mad land. Do you know what I mean? They're actually saying something that they care about. She's gone to sad and mad land. Oh! And when she's gone to sad and mad land, that's bad for me because then I have to shake all sorts of hands and buy all sorts of expensive lap, dan lap, lap dan lunches for angry managers of sugary shit pop bands. You need to upload a viral music video to your channel by the end of today. And good luck to you. Genuinely good luck to you. Because if you don't, you're going to lose the chance to win that 10k. Bop. I went home feeling defeated, and Millipede's new video made me feel even more depressed. I did something really stupid. I tried to do a joke and it was a massive fail. Being funny is just not my thing. Don't be funny, Millie. <laughs> of course I don't hate tiny girls. <laughs> I love tiny girls. La, la, ooh, oh. I only had two more hours to make a viral music video and I'd wasted it watching YouTube again. But then I received a phone call from Millipede. Hello? Yeah, not bad, you. Millipede had decided maybe I wasn't so bad after all, and she'd use her profile to help me pass my challenge. Yeah, I'll go for a drive. Hey, can we upload this? Yeah, yeah. To my channel? OK, yeah, sure. Thank you. Uh, and will you share it? Give it a plug? Yeah. Please, this is gold. Yeah, I'll Everyone share it. Everyone should see this. I'll share it. Don't it always seem to go, but you don't know what you've got till it's gone. They play paradise and put up a parking lot. Ah! Come on, do you want me to still do a rap? Yeah, do your rap. I smacked my head. No, I'm too dizzy. I put my. I was. I had my head pressed against the back of the seat. It put too much pressure on my head and I just flip. I've got to, I go, but... Bombsy! I was surprised to pass the challenge and even more surprised to become friends with Millipede, which would serve me well in next week's challenge, Health and Fitness. I like the T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, Because I especially 
get ripped or die trying? I don't think that's what it says. Of course it's what it says. What no, it no, say? it says, Benchin till I henchin. <laughs> that's, that's a good quality. one.